simply to oh, lay a hose you just lay a, <laughs> lay, exactly just yeah. just you just lay a hose on the pipe and you just punch it punch it, punch it. channel making africa home again one family at a time on site today to give you an update uh, today's update is a little bit electrical and the rest will be about our unoccupied plot just to answer a few questions that um, we had over the during the course of the week some guys were asking about how, how much uh, the breakers cost and the distribution board cost and the rcbo and afdd etc etc if you don't know what i'm talking about in terms of the electrical installation and RCBOs, click up here to watch our electrical installation video. Regarding the AFCIs, which are arc fault circuit interrupters, or AFDDs, arc fault detection devices. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, click here to watch the video where I describe what that was all about. Okay, right now, we're in the electrical room. So let's have a look at the electrical distribution board. Which is what we have here all right so this is a 125 amp rated 12 way three phase distribution board the cost of the distribution board when we bought it was about 1850 cities pounds and dollars on your screen as usual uh this was purchased from i can't remember the exact shop but it's an area uh in sort of what do they call it i think they call it opera square electrical wholesale place so that's where i got that from now if we focus in if the lovely crystal focuses on the, on the breakers these are normal mcbs mcbs means miniature circuit breaker okay you've got c25 c20 c16 and that means 16 amp 25 amp 20 amp you can get type a b c or d okay typically type c is suitable for your home uh, I'll, I'll go into more details about the differences between A, B, C and D in probably a, diff a different video. But C is okay generally for your home. Okay. Now, when you buy the distribution board, all these breakers come fully fitted within the distribution board. Okay. So you don't need to worry about buying extra breakers because it comes with the distribution board. However, this in camera here is a separate piece. Okay. This in camera is a separate piece. You buy that as, as, a, as a separate piece, I believe. Uh, but it's all, but then the breakers all come with the distribution board. Now, somebody asked a question. I think, I think they must have lost some of their breakers. And uh, they wanted to know the price of the individual breakers if you happen to lose the breakers or you need spares. So I had the opportunity to um, look at the prices. So when it comes to an ordinary MCB, let's look at this one, C32. The price is typically about 150 Ghana cities. So one of these breakers, this one, one pole breaker, 150 Ghana cities. Okay. Now the section down here where you can see a test, 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 test button. These are the RCBOs. Now, just to remind you, what is What does an RCBO mean? An RCBO is a residual circuit breaker. Okay. And the RCBO is what protects people and animals against electric shock. So quite important, okay, to have them installed, connected to your, your sockets typically, because your sockets are where you have a, a greater risk or possibility of electric shock. So those are the RCBOs. Now, been to many homes in Ghana, you tend not to see them installed, which, which, is, which is a shame. Uh, and the, the electrical wholesalers admitted to that as well when we bought the distribution board. But I would recommend that you do have RCBs installed rcbo's installed and i guess people don't install them and i think it's shit due to the price because this ordinary mcb is about 150 cities but the rcbo okay ranges from 250 to 300 ghana cities for one of them okay just for one of them so we've got eight eight here we need so we need to we need to buy eight times 300 about two two thousand four hundred ghana cities just on the rcbo's so i guess that's what puts some people off but it is very important safety first worry about the finances later okay if you can afford to build then you can afford to be safe in the electrical installation all right now 
in another video that I pointed to earlier on when we were on the roof, if you are a subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. We found a cable in a couple of light fittings that uh, was, was, was burning out. And it was burning out because of the installation. The installation was rushed. When they're installing the cables, they're really sort of roughing the cables to the pipes and a part of the insulation tore, which caused it to start burning. Okay, not it's nothing to do with the quality of the cable. We buy our cables from Nexon's Cable Metal in Ghana. They are good quality cables. So not to do with the quality of the cable, but rather to do with the installation, the rushed installation. And there are certain devices, they're called arc fault arc flash detection devices afdds or in america they call them afcrs arc flash or arc fault circuit interrupters okay you can you can also get them as one pole or two pole that can go in a distribution board and they detect an early an early fire incident okay? before an electrical fire occurs there's always an arc so if you like they, they detect the arc and then once they detect the arc they'll disconnect the circuit in order to prevent the fire from occurring uh, for those of you uh, who live in the UK, you can, you, I think you can uh, relate to this story. A few years ago, there was a, a fire disaster, I think it was, it was called Grenfell in West London, where the, a massive tower block caught fire and it was mainly due to the type of cladding, I think, or some sort of electrical item. Um, but as a result of the investigation of all of that, they changed a lot of things in the building industry. They changed the type of cladding that, that, a, that a tower block of flats must have. It must have a non-combustible material in the cladding. The cladding is the outer sheet of the building, okay? Uh, they changed a lot of regulations. They also changed the electrical regulations in the UK, that is, and that's when the AFDD devices came into place because they wanted to make sure that electrical fires were minimized or in fact or elim eliminated so this is when they manufactured these afdd devices so it was all due to grenfell that's where it came about in the uk i'm not sure about the history in america but that's where it, it, it all came about i'm not saying that the electrical f the fire of grenfell was caused just by electrics but they had to look at all the factors the building material as well as the electrical devices to make sure all the fire risks were eliminated or at the worst case, minimized. Now, AFDDs, again, quite costly, even more costly than the RCBOs. I still haven't found where to find them in Ghana. I only found it online. So there were a couple of people who were saying, I can walk into any electrical shop in Ghana and find AFDDs. Well, I've walked into quite a few of them, including the Opera Square, and I couldn't find them at all. So if you are a subscriber or you watch this video, if you can tell everybody else where you can find AFCRs or AFDDs in Ghana, Put it in the comments below that would be much appreciated but i couldn't find any and just like the rcbo is very important but people are put off in the cost rcbo is 250 to 300 ghana cities the afdds that i found online they were from eton as well or katlahama each afdd one pole afdd was about 605 cities okay 605 ghana cities so you can imagine if you're gonna get your AFDDs for your sockets and a few of your lighting or even for the whole board, it's gonna, it's gonna cost quite a bit. So that's, that's, that's where the, the, the issue lies. And that's why maybe people may not buy them because of the cost, but they are quite important. And that, what I would suggest, if, you're, if you are gonna get the AFDDs or AFCIs, do a risk assessment. You know, you probably don't need to have it on every single socket, um, but of course, if you had it on every, every if you had it on every single circuit, then you obviously there's no risk at all. You covered every single circuit. If you can afford it, fantastic. Single pole break, all a AFCIs or AFDDs, fantastic. If you can't afford all of them, then you know, do a selection of where you think the risk is, and do a selection and and and, and then put the AFDDs where you want to put them. But that's the cost. I thought I'd give you that, that guys, so you know exactly what you're doing. The cost of the electrical distribution, more the breakers and you know exactly what to choose. In another video, I'll do a separate video. I will do a separate video, which will be how to wire your house, okay? How to wire a house in Ghana, where I'll talk about the voltage, I'll talk about wiring, the lighting, the air conditioning, the water heater, uh, the, the, the cooker. I'll do a how to wire your house video and also do an ebook that goes with it in terms of the, the cable sizes, where to get the, the conduits and everything you need to look out for as a guide so that you, you, can, you can check that your electrician is doing the right thing. So that will be a separate video on its own. Okay, um, what else can I say today? 
we finally i talked about the the one horse power pump we bought for our solar water tank upstairs we finally got that working because that's a bit of issues but we've got it working now glory to yehoah and hot water is flowing in the house which is absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic because i know god loves to have very 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 hot baths you know i think it's a it's a female thing <laughs> Because I, 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 another lady told me that, you know, they like, you know, that they, they get co much colder compared to men and they like really, really hot showers. Is it a female thing or is it just an individual thing? What do you think? I don't know. I just love having the water. Well, in the UK, hot bath, but right now, here is lukewarm. Lukewarm. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. But I think that's what I wanted to talk about in the electrical room, guys. So, well, follow us now. We're going to have a discussion. Again, this is to answer somebody else's comments. Somebody asked, what are our plans for the unoccupied plot? So we're going to go outside right now and we're going to talk about, have a discussion of our various plans or thoughts at this moment in time for the unoccupied plot. So follow us as we go outside. Hi guys, hope my voice improves this time. Hope you hear me clearly. Okay, so what are we gonna do on this particular unoccupied plot? You asked. Hmm. That's an interesting question. We've got lots of plans for this area. Guys, as you can see over there, we already got our black soil. Just a little bit left from the other side. So what we're gonna do? What's that? What's that? What's that you've planted in there? That's um kind of scent leaf. Scent leaf, okay. Um, Which in Ghana is called nunum. Yeah, nunum leaf. In, yes, in, Ibo, Ibo is called, called uh, Chao in Chao. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a herbal plant, very good. Very herbal. significant herbal plant. Yeah. So we use it to cook and all that. Very, very nice. So we're gonna fill up that place with black soil. Yeah. Yeah, the whole of this place, up to where the chippings are. We're gonna fill it up with black soil and um, some manual, some cow chicken, dung, yeah. so chicken, chicken, goats, and um, cow. cow dung, okay, fine, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fill it all up and um, allow the rain to fall on it, mm -hmm. you know, to get you ready for, for planting. So I think they said that in Jan February, we'll have the rains in February. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to get everything sorted exactly. before the rains in February. What, what about sawdust? Somebody mentioned sawdust here, and I've seen you applying sawdust. What is, what is, what's the purpose of the sawdust? Do you know what, yeah? I heard that it's good. I've not really researched. Right. But normally, when you buy your plants in London, they, it comes with sawdust. So ah, it's, right. Yeah, the seeds come with sawdust. Okay, so okay. That's why so there must be something good yeah, about there must it. Yeah, there must be something good about yeah, it. Yeah, we so. need to we need to find out exactly so we know exactly how to how <laughs> yeah. to apply it. Yeah. Okay. So we we'll apply that. So I'm sure it will. Because obviously, it's, it's the sawdust is um, chipping from the from planks. Planks, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyway, From sawing, you saw planks in the yeah. dust, so the sawdust, so yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that. So I'm gonna have demarcations here for mm -hmm. a vegetable garden. Okay. Um, what I mean, leafy vegetables. Yeah. Fugu, um, lettuce, cabbage. Cabbage, yeah. And all that. Okay. Yes, and then um, I have um, a bed because I do it in beds, different different beds, and I have a bed. For, the bed, okay, fine. Yeah, I have a bed for for herbs like um, yeah. Thyme, okay, um, basil, basil, okay, and um, other things, parsley, yeah. parsley, right? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, it is essentially, we want to like we have independent water with a borehole, independent yeah. electric. Uh, well, when we in the future, when, when we get the solar in the future, which would be uh, something that we're considering, uh, independent electric and uh, independent food, we want to be able to eat from the land. Honestly, that would be and that's and that's all food you know to be able to to mm. to live on your on your land even without stepping out so yeah. so from vegetables to fruits to tubers to the all of it really i was gonna ask are we gonna have a sort of irrigation over there you know the irrigation yeah. in, uh, yes we will have an irrigation there's a cheap way of irrigating and there's an expensive way of irrig irrigation yeah. yeah basically expensive ways you would you, there's a i think there's a pipe on the walls that's up there somewhere uh -huh. Uh, I think we are, we are we are allowed for pipes. I can't see right now, yeah. but you can lay pipes under the ground uh -huh. that have holes in them, uh -huh. and you can have a timer system mm. that brings the water out certain certain times of the day. Or you just, or you just turn the tap on when you want to turn it off. Is that expensive to do? Well, 
obviously this is an, it's an expensive way but a cheaper way of doing it is i saw it be, saw it done where we're living right now it's simply to oh, lay a hose <laughs> you just lay a, <laughs> lay, I saw it. exactly just yeah. just you just lay a hose on a pipe and you just punch, punch it, it punch it that's, that's it, it. Yeah, exactly. that's it so i, just, I think i just do that, do that. <laughs> don't get too fancy don't get too fancy this is not a commercial farm it's just a, a family farm Lay a hose, punch, punch yeah. it in certain certain point, and then open it when you. So so it doesn't matter what season it yeah. is. We have water from the ground, rain. You know, so we plant. We should be able to plant all year round, yeah, rainy season or not. Do that, yeah. Guys, I really want to thank you for your comments. I've read um, a lot of your write-ups. Honestly, guys, I I read about the. You know, you guys were commenting about planting near the fence. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I'm taking that on board. Exactly. Thank you very much. And I'm going to ask again. Where can I get hydrangea? Hydrangea. Oh, oh my goodness! Can that you seems to be a hard me? one. I yeah. really, really want to get those hydrangeas. Hydrangea. Yeah. Okay. So by the, because of what you guys said, which I'm going to take on board, by the fence. Yeah, getting towards the fence. What I'm going to do there is plant um, plantains and bananas. And right. Because okay. they haven't got branches. Yeah, soft aren't they? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. But soft. they've got branches, but they're flimsy branches, aren't they? So, so, Does it have branches? Yeah, of course. They have leaves. Oh, is it leaves? <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. I thought it was a leaf. A leaf is on a branch, isn't it? Or is it not? Okay, whatever. I don't know. Okay, we have to look at it again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're going to have plantains and bananas down there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, until we're ready to deal with those chippings. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Until then, it's just going to be like that. But I've got some avocados that are ready to be transplanted. I've got some in the house too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll get them planted somewhere and some somewhere down there. You know, because what, what happens is that by the time we get this land ready, we will get the soil around the 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 oranges, the the uh, avocados, just around it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because we can't wait until then to start transplanting. I think we should do it now and then fill right. the whole thing up. So are you saying that I? So are you? Are you? Are you? Is this your are you, so this whole place is going to be a farm is it is that your day one plan or your day ultimate plan no we just have to okay fine we know where, where we want to put the swimming pool ah okay yeah, so we have to sort find the you know where the markings are yeah, exactly so yeah we just have to put the, the um uh, oranges and uh, basically the orange and avocado yeah somewhere around okay there. because when exactly. you swim you just want to have a shade also a shade, around yeah. the swimming pool exactly yeah, yeah 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 so we just plant it somewhere so around so, there. so this this area is for the farm and then you want a, swim, a swimming pool in the middle yes. ultimately okay fantastic fantastic you, you, you sorted it of course you? we've got a layout yeah. for it yeah, yeah, yeah of course yeah. of course yeah. That's, but 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 yes, we will see. Depending on the cost of the swimming pool, that will determine exactly when we do it, right? Yeah. So so I mean, if it, depending on the budget, we could the, the whole area could be a farm in, in to start off with, and yes. then and then the swimming pool can come later or whatever. Yes, but then I don't know what we want to do with those plants. There, if we get rid of them, oh, they they're all gonna they're all they're, they're all waste wood, unfortunately. Okay, we're not gonna use them. I don't believe so. Them for anything? Uh, I don't, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll can see. Can we not use them for for the things we want to do in the house? Not at all. Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think good. so. Yeah, well, well, we'll have a look. We'll, right. we'll have a look. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Right. Not so, sure. as Kinsley said, we will use convert that place, the whole of this area, to um, a farmland, into a farmland. But whilst we're planting our avocados and the fruits, obviously, we'll make sure that where we plant them will be a permanent place for them. Yes. We'll okay. plant them around the, the swimming pool, swimming pool area. Demarcation. Okay. The demarcation yeah, that's, yeah. That's them. All right. All awesome. Right, so guys, I am so looking forward to planting my palm here. From the wall over there, down to behind, yeah, down to the other end of the wall. We're going to have palm trees, you know. Palm trees. Yeah, some beautiful palm, not the very tall, tall ones. ones. Okay. Yes, and also coconut. Okay. Yeah. Is that just like to 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 define the driveway? No, to add, yeah, that that as well, but to okay. add some beauty. Okay. To it. But to I'm going to have some dwarf coconut. Yes. Coconut trees. Exactly. The, the, the orange looking ones. <laughs> you know one one thing yeah. what we need to decide cuz I love the fact that the cars can drive straight down but also they can dri drive and turn in front of the house like it did the other day. Uh -huh. So we need to decide where, where we're going to put that that sort of not fountain but fountain type 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 flower pot, flower thing you want in the middle so that it doesn't block the the, the ability of cars to drive in front there. But we can decide that later with the landscape yeah. guy thinking about it now because what, when we were, I was talking about that mm -hmm. I didn't think the curbs were gonna go there right I, okay I, I, in my imagination it hadn't I didn't imagine the curbs right like that because now it's taking the space right away. so okay. if you put, uh, put it at the middle it won't look 
Okay. Nice. I don't know. No, I think we can put it, push it, probably push it further away. It's gonna look funny, but let's see. Let's see. Let's okay, see let's see. Happens. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna tell the guys what, what, what we're gonna do with the last portion of the unoccupied plot. Last portion of the unoccupied. Yes. Like we, if you've been watching our video, I believe that you heard us talk about what we wanted to do with the that, the last part of the unoccupied plot. We were thinking of an erecting a structure, whether it's voice quarter or some some flats. Yeah, know. yeah. We don't know what we want to use it for, but it's always good to have something there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Instead of having the land wasted. Of more. course, of course. And we're also thinking that if not if when we're able to do that we'll break the wall yeah over there so there'll be an access yeah rather than having the, the people come to yeah this area so yeah it's going to be another building another like another environment altogether. yeah all together okay so you probably put a, a fence wall there yeah, and there just to there. coordinate off sort of exactly. thing okay yeah. awesome but in the meantime in the meantime uh, once we get ready for now we're gonna have a plants over there as well, turn it into a farm as well until we're ready until you're to ready. use it for, for what you want to use it for. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. That's understandable. That's understandable. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I hope that answers the person's question. And uh, thank you very much for that question. And then, uh, awesome. That's really good. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching Asher and Gad episode once again. As usual, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so you always be aware when we upload a new and educational video for your viewing pleasure so from <laughs> guys see you next time